एवरीवन एज आई टोल्ड इन माई इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन ऑल द पी एच डी एंड पोस्ट डॉक्टर फेलोशिप सो आई विल स्टार्ट विथ माई पोस्ट डॉक्टर फेलोशिप अ कोरियन रिसर्च फेलोशिप फंडेड बाई द नेशनल रिसर्च फाउंडेशन कोरिया आई गट सिलेक्टेड एज अ के आर एफ फेलो इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ऑल दो फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी आर हैविंग अ ब्रेन पुल एंड द ब्रेन पुल प्लस फेलोशिप द एम ऑफ दिस फेलोशिप इज टू अट्रैक्ट आउटस्टैंडिंग ओवरसी रिसर्चर्स and to establish a long term strategic research in emerging industries with research institutes basically there are three major fields in which brain pool and brain pool fellowship works first innovative growth engines second leading field in industrial technology and the third one is the strategic investment in industries also these three major fields having a sub fields so there are total 24 field in which you guys can apply for brain pool and brain pool plus the eligibility for brain pool and brain pool plus is almost similar first thing you are a phd conferred scientist from overseas the overseas part is the highlighted means you should not be in korea secondly if you are not a phd then you should have 5 year research experience in any r and d industries then you can also apply for the brain pool and brain pool plus in case of brain pool plus they have also said that overseas korean national can also apply for the brain pool plus now the fellowship duration in case of brain pool depend on the duration we are having two types of brain pool brain short terms and the long term in case of short term it is 3 months to 12 months means a complete year while for long term it is a 2 plus 1 or it can be extended to plus 2 but mainly it is 2 plus 1 means first 2 years and then plus 1 you can extend for 1 year why in case of brain pool plus it is for the 10 year 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 so you can extend your research till 10 years after the eligibility of an applicant now there is eligibility of a host for host institution it can be any government funded non profit public any corporate research institute or university for host researcher in case of brain pool an employee holding the position in all these respective university with a rank of at least assistant professor or a senior research professor while in case of brain pool plus the host researcher should hold a position of dean of academic affairs and if it's a non university research institute then in that case the person should hold the position equivalent to the dean of academic affairs The application procedure for brain pool and brain pool plus include first searching a host researcher without a host researcher you can't apply for brain pool and brain pool plus after getting a host researcher in collaboration with host researcher you have to write one proposal which, which you are going to submit in brain pool and brain pool plus then the third step is your host researcher on behalf of you will submit that proposal finally that proposal will get evaluated In case of brain pool plus evaluation is two step process first they will evaluate your document and on behalf of documents they will call you for the presentation and your host professor will give the presentation then there will be a question answer session and after the comprehensive evaluation you guys got selected for the brain pool plus now the last is the detail of your funding source as i said in case of brain pool you are having a short term and long term but for both of them you will get a 5 to 25 million korean won per month as a personal cost at your airfare your moving expenses your insurance your travel expenses your conference will also be paid by the korean government other than that if you are having a children their kindergarten fees will also be included in your brain pool fellowship the main difference between brain pool and brain pool plus in case of funding your housing allowance the for for brain pool your housing allowance is paid by your university while for brain pool plus your housing allowance is paid by the korean government and, and that is 1 million korean won per month and which is quite reasonable to stay in korea for brain pool plus yeah, there is 600 million korean won sanction per year in that your personal cost other than that your insurance airfare moving expenses travel expenses your conference and even your children if your children is in kindergarten or if he is in a elementary school is also included in your brain pool plus fellowship all these are the details related to brain pool and brain pool plus but uh, before applying for this fellowship i want to highlight two three things which you should know 
First is if you apply for this fellowship and you got selected, then you have to reach Korea within the four months of your selection. Otherwise, they can decline this fellowship. Second is if you have applied for this fellowship and you got selected, but anyhow you have to withdraw your proposal, then there will be a penalty of three years for applying brain pool or a brain pool plus fellowship from the NRF to you and to your host professor. Third one is for the long term brain pool and brain pool plus. Like if you have applied for this fellowship, you got selected, you came to Korea and but due to any reason you want to go back to your home country before completing the 12 months of that research fellowship then you have to return your housing allowance and your moving expenses back to the Korean government. As I said, Brainpool and Brainpool Plus started from 2021. So here I have shown you the four announcement date for these fellowships. I think the two already done. The rest of two you can apply for these fellowships. If you have any other doubt related to these fellowships, I have also given the email ID and the contact person for these fellowships in NRF. If other than that, if you are having any queries, you can write in the comment box. I will try to solve it. If you guys like my video and want to be get updated regarding the fellowship, which I am going to explain in my later videos, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.